A newly released state audit slamming the Unified Police Department is prompting both the former and current county sheriffs to speak up. Sheriff Rosie Rivera and former Sheriff Jim Winder just wrapped up a news conference about the audit at the Salt Lake County building. News for Utah's Jen Jacobson is there and joins us now with more on the audit and reaction to it. Jen. Yes, Don, this audit was just released yesterday. Both Rivera and Winder tell me they disagree with the findings. Now, the audit says the department needs to be more transparent, that it needs to give cities more information, including financial information, so the board members and the citizens can hold it accountable. The audit also says UPD has a weak governance structure. Winder says when cities break away from UPD, communication decreases and public safety may be in jeopardy. He says cities usually break away and start their own departments because of greed. And current problems should not be blamed on past leadership. Now, Sheriff Rivera is also here. She says she believes that the Unified Police Department runs a good operation, but is open to improvements, specifically the costing model. She says she can't control cities from breaking off and starting up their own departments, but she does say she wishes they would not. The audit for the Unified Police Department of Greater Salt Lake contains a grand total of four deficiencies. And only one identifies a specific fiduciary oversight that is a $44 reimbursement error. Nobody is to blame. Nobody could predict that townships were going to form townships, that Mill Creek was going to be their own city, and our board would grow to the extent that it is. Now, of course, there is a lot to this state audit and what each have to say about other potential concerns. We will have that full report for you at 10 o'clock at ABC4. For now, I'm reporting live in Salt Lake City, Jen Jacobson, News 4, Utah. Thanks, Jen.